What's up, NoCoders? Zaz here. Today, I'm going to be showing you another tutorial on how to create a functional live pricing page for your Notion website. Now, let's go into our Stripe account. And let's assume that we have a lead generation company. And our business runs by charging our clients on a monthly basis, a flat rate on a monthly basis, um, in order to provide them with prospects, a certain amount of prospects every month. So let's start creating products with that in mind. So we want three tiers. Let's start with a standard. And we'll say that this tier is for startups. Let's add our metadata per usual. So you want an SV underscore service. We're going to call this lead gen. And we want our tier name as well, or tier tag. So that's SV underscore tier. Our monthly price for this package is going to be, let's say, $300. Recurring on a monthly basis, let's add our price description. This is what this is the piece that shows up on the checkout form. Save and add more. Let's add a premium tier. And let's say that this is for scaling companies. Let's add our metadata again. Make sure that this is consistent because this is what um, ServiceBot is going to be pulling for your pricing page. Let's add our tier name. And pricing for this, let's say 350 a month. Recurring, our price description is going to be premium monthly. Okay, save and add more. Let's do one last here and call it platinum. And the description for this is basically that um, it's for the big fish. Let's add our metadata again. Our tier this time will be platinum. And the price, let's say 750 for this tier. Let's add our price description and save product. Okay. So we can see our three. Now from here we want to go into service bot. Sign into your account. And once you're here, you want to create a new pricing page. Let's call this lead gen. Select your service. There we can see lead gen as the last product, which is the one that we just created. Let's go to our pricing settings. We don't have any product images, but we do want to display the product description. Awesome. Don't want to hide or disable any tiers. And that's all looking good. Let's add our features. So let's say for our standard, we're going to have 200 to 300 prospects. Let's up that for premium, so 400 to 500. And then platinum, we'll do 800 to, let's say, 1,000 prospects. Let's do one active campaign for our standard features. 
same for premium. And for platinum, let's do up to two. And finally, let's highlight the level of customer support. Let's do premium customer support here. And let's do VIP customer support. Awesome. Now let's go to our checkout settings. We're almost done. Okay, so that looks good. Let's move on to our design. Now here is where we get to beautify it so that it looks like this. Now I already have that, so let me just fast forward. Awesome. Um, I don't need language or advanced settings, so let's just save this document. Select HTML5. Copy our code. Now, if you guys recall from last time, we need a place to host this page before embedding it into our Notion page. So for that, I'm actually using HTML save, which is a free um, HTML host. I've already gone ahead and created a website. Let me just create a new page. Go to page settings and just paste your code in there. Let's see if it worked. Okay, perfect. So now we have our pricing page and it's hosted. Let's go into our Notion, Notion page. Let me just delete what we have and let's embed our new page. So do slash embed, paste your code, your link, embed, and let's resize this baby. Okay, so it shows up. Now let's try to purchase a plan to see if it actually works. Let's select this premium plan and fill out the form. Confirm. Awesome. Now let's go back into Stripe to see if it showed up. Awesome, you guys. Look at that. $350. It was successful. Um, and it's going to be recurring. It's that easy, you guys. That's all it takes to get your live pricing page up and running for your users to be able to purchase your service straight from your website. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and let me know what you would like to see next. All right, no coders, until next time. Bye.